movements of earth earth our home is the third planet from the sun our earth is moving continuously the movements of earth are of two types rotation and revolution what is rotation do you enjoy watching basketball have you seen a basketball player do a trick by spinning the ball on his or her finger the spinning ball rotates similar to the way the earth rotates rotation takes place when something turns or spins around a point located at its center rotation of the earth rotation is the spinning of the earth on its own axis it is a slow movement on an imaginary axis our earth rotates on its axis from west to east the time for one rotation is 24 hours that is one day the earth spins like an orange on a pencil if you twist the pencil the whole orange spins around this is like the earth spinning around the pencil can be considered as the axis of the orange in the same way we can think of an axis that goes through the earth the axis is a line that we can imagine it is not a real thing we say that the earth has an axis that it rotates on this axis runs from the north pole to the south pole as you can see in the picture as earth rotates it seems like the sun is moving across the sky but it's really the earth that is spinning as the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation we have 24 hours in a day in other words if the sun is visible in the morning starting around 6 am the earth will spin completely around by the next morning at 6 am and you will see the sun in about the same place day and night earth's rotation causes day and night due to the spherical shape of the earth half of it faces the sun while it rotates the side of the earth facing the sun has day and the other side will have night at any moment half of the world is in daytime and half is in night time
Now let us try this out. Try this experiment which explains to you how day and night is formed. Materials required a globe, a table lamp or a candle or a flashlight, a sticker which can be used to identify the country you live in on the globe. Now let's see what the procedure is. Observe the globe, identify your country and put a sticker on it. Make the room as dark as possible. Turn the lights off and close the curtains. The only light present must be the light of the table lamp or candle or flashlight. This light must be fixed. It mustn't be moved throughout the experiment. Place the globe approximately 1 meter from the light source and keep your country facing the light. What does the light on the surface of the globe represent? Afterwards, turn the globe on its axis so that your country comes in the opposite side exactly and now it's plunged in darkness. It's night time. Explanation the sun does not move. It is the earth which turns on its axis non-stop. The sun always shines. When it is night time where we live, it is daytime in faraway countries located on the other side of the earth. It takes the earth approximately 24 hours to complete a full rotation. This explains why our days last 24 hours. During the day, it appears as though the sun moves across the sky as it rises in the morning and sets in the evening. Directions East and West are two directions that you must know. If you point at the sun when it appears to rise in the morning, you are pointing in the direction of East. If you point at the place where the sun sets, you are pointing in the direction of West. Have a look at the picture of Anu. Anu loves to get up early and watch the sunrise. She is standing with her arms stretched out, pointing in the directions east and west. Circle of Illumination The imaginary line that separates Light from the darkness and day from the night is known as circle of illumination.